And uh, Simon from simonwood.com, you will see that there's not very much left in the, this bottle of uh, Malbec, all the way from Spa. Spa Malbec, uh, I think £6.50 or something like that. Because um, uh, quite a lot of it has gone into uh, uh, the marinade for something, and a little bit of it has gone in the cook. And uh, so, um, so I, I thought I'd better, before I completely polish the bottle off, I thought I'd better, uh, better do a, a review. Um, so Malbec, where, of course, where is it from? Of course it's from, Ar no it's not from Argentina. Uh, it's actually uh, Pays d'Oc, so southern France. Um, normally if you've got French Malbec, golly, just about enough for a tasting sample there. Um, if you've got French Malbec, it's from Cahors, southwest France. Here we're a little bit further, uh, further east, probably a little bit warmer. So, um, well, I've tasted it already. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll do it properly for you. I'll have a sniff. And um, it, it, the first thing I notice when I smell it is that it's sitting really halfway between uh, Cahors and, and uh, Argentina. The Argentinian ones, deeper in colour uh, and uh, tend to be... Uh, a lot more uh, forward and showy in their in their fruit flavours, um, and um, all the way through Malbec you get this uh, this little bit of violety perfume. Here there's a touch of that, but maybe some of the perfume I'm getting here is more to do with the way in which the wine's been made. I get this uh, tinge of vanilla, uh, as if I'm not sure whether they've uh, they would have used a little bit of uh, oaking, uh, as in some chips or some staves or something, just to um, just to bulk it up. Uh, it's not intrusive, and it's more the fruit that's the the, the main event. When you taste it, it's got those lovely classic Malbec spice, um, this juicy rounded plump plush berry fruit. Um, it's been yes, I'm almost ashamed. I'm uh, um, I put quite so much of it in the marinade because it's the sort of wine that uh, upmarket party wine, if you want to call it that. If you took that to Oh, you serve that at your party, or you took it to someone else's party, uh, then you could happily leave it in the kitchen at that price, and uh, uh, the people who came across it would not sort of think, okay, he brought a cheapskate, he's brought a bad bottle of wine. Uh, and if you were left with that bottle, you'd uh, very happily sup it out of a paper cup, stroke plastic cup, maybe even a proper wine glass. Um, good Wednesday night sausage glug. Uh, it's Friday night here, but um, hey. Uh, I'll pretend it's Wednesday and I'll pretend I've got some sausages. See you soon.